All right, click the links. Join channel here over at Subscribe right now over at Odyssey. Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider's long overdue Me Too moment is here in the new documentary series. The trailer is on YouTube. It's called Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. From the Nickelodeon series in the time period somewhere in the late 90s when he was on it for like 10 or 15 years. And he turned it into this billion dollar powerhouse and... Um, this documentary is going to talk about some of the other things that happen on kids shows. So he created the iconic kids series like iCarly, the Amanda Bynes show, Drake and a bunch of stupid shows that, um, I guess if they're from, they're from like over 25 years ago. So, which, uh, to me just kind of feels like yesterday, but I realized it's like, these shows are 30 years old now that the, they're doing the interviews with the, the adults now who are kids in these shows and they're, they're old. I'm like, oh, I guess that wasn't just yesterday. It's like, wasn't the 90s? No, 90s was 30 years ago. But Schneider's success hit a myriad of allegations that range from a toxic work environment, well, welcome to Hollywood, to emotional abuse, to gender discrimination. What does that mean? Uh, was that a thing? In the Like, even 10 years ago? Was that a thing? Even darker allegations were made against Nickelodeon regarding uh, those under the age of majority uh, involved with prurient uh, things, abuse, misconduct type of thing. And the employment of, a, what is it, portable document files or is it personal personal document files? The, the uh, PD files at the network. Weird. <laughs> Weird that there's there's like no structure in place to, to prevent that from happening. To like, yikes, my guy, we don't need police or order or structure. Just be like good people or like whatever. Yeah, but what happens when they're they're not good people? <laughs> Listen, Hugo Boss. You know, the left are gonna get everything they said they wanted, but it's the the bitch is it's gonna happen to their kids and grandkids are gonna have to deal with the consequences of that. <sighs> stupid, stupid. Yikes, my guy, just be a good person. You look at them like, what's the color of the sky in your So what do you do with these types of people? Um, like educate them. Educate them not to abuse kids. Uh, we just honestly, we need to separate from these people. So, a four part series on Schneider's rise and fall interviews the cast and co workers employed during Schneider's reign on uh, YouTube. Quiet on set pulls back the curtain. Uh, all undeniable grip on popular culture. He was from Better Off Dead with John Cusack and probably in a couple other 80s movies, which were a lot of fun. Uh, creepy even back then, but, um, much, much more creepy, uh, now. And there's a bunch of pictures you can, you can image search, uh, Dan Schneider, um, PDF file. And there's a bunch of pictures of him hugging kids. You know, it's one thing kids run up to you on set or something and hug you and somebody's taking a picture. The, the kids are just hugging you. Okay. I mean, you know, but you're hugging them. It's like, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you do that at all? Epstein. So um the thing is in a commercial zone country that that is America the law is the only moral framework. There is no there is no set of parameters other than what is black letter law. There's no oh we just don't do that here because when you have diverse groups of people all together there's no founding structure. There's no nothing to unite them. There's no Everyone has a different moral compass and moral set of values, so it's only the law, and that results in a very slippery, sloppy society because people have different values with um, those under the age of consent, as you, in this case, here, um, and nobody wants to kind of put their neck out because uh, somebody, uh, James Kirk. Patrick on uh, V-Dare, writes for D v -Dare is on Twitter, and people were talking about Tucker Carlson, and they go, he's a traitor to America. And uh, James goes, traitor to what? There's nothing to betray. I thought about that, and goes, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Like, I mean, obviously the fact that we're, you're not at war, America's not at war with Russia, but like, how do you betray a country that's not really anything? How do you, how do you betray a commercial zone that's run by NGOs? It's like, it's like betraying Google in in the war of Chase Bank versus Microsoft or something. So the real question is, why is Hollywood such filthy degenerates and 
why has it been accepted for so long that Weinsteins and Schneiders are just a part of Hollywood? And it's like, that's the risk in Hollywood. Or even Courtney Love openly warned people about Harvey Weinstein and people laughed at her. And, you know, credit to her for having the balls to come out and say that. I don't know if it was like, when, when was that interview? Probably in the 90s or something. And it was just laughed at. Like, oh yeah, don't go to his hotel room. Anyway, Hollywood is run by parasites and should be figuratively raised to ashes in atomic hellfire. But here specifically, the short answer to why a rat like Schneider was allowed for so long was because he was making everyone a stupid amount of money. So for them to fire him, the evidence must have been absurd. But say on a successful network, um, billion dollar network like that, Everyone involved is making ridiculous amounts of money from the, the the talent to the tech to the set design to the hair and makeup. And the reputation of people drawn to Hollywood is the uh, the soulless narcissism, drug use, and evil is going to be accepted, tolerated, and probably encouraged. Um, if you see the Maria Abramovic type of uh, spirit cooking, the Podesta, the Wiener type of stuff, it seems like they, um, there really is some connection to... Um, Luciferian LARPing and, and drug use and after a while you go you know I know it's LARPing and all but the thing with the Satanists is um, all that matters is if they believe it doesn't matter if, if it's if all this witchcraft nonsense is real it's like obviously it's not real but if they believe it and they're willing to hurt people to, to satisfy their rituals it's like that's the only thing that matters so say you're working around Schneider and you see he and the people he surrounds himself with are uh, just a little too close to the kids, or in some cases, they were actually those uh, uh, portable document files, or his personal document, out of prison. The, um, the funny thing with Kyle Rittenhouse and, and Rosenbaum was that guy uh, got out of prison or got out of a mental hospital that morning. Uh, it's like, that seems like a dead civilization where there's no infrastructure to support people and you have the mentally ill on the street. Yeah, that kind of goes back to the ACLU and Reagan, I think, in the uh, the 60s. So um, you had those people who were working around kids. Like, uh, you know, isn't there a law against that? I think later they enacted a law, um, which it seems like a lot of stuff this, the nation does kind of reluctantly to, to punish these uh, the Epstein types. Like, oh, if you twist our arm, I guess... I guess we'll, okay, we'll pass a law, but, you know, we definitely won't do any investigation. So the thing is, if they're, um, if they're there, then that means the whole system is rotten. You can't go to anyone within Hollywood because they're all these going to be these Weinstein types. You'd have to go to the FBI, and that's a big hurdle for people. So everyone there who sees the stuff in Hollywood, they just keep their mouth shut, and they, they just take the money. Then the thing is, there's no saving Hollywood. It's all of the mainstream big screen and uh, streaming is all this kind of stuff you'd have to create a parallel industry but would larry fink finance you if you made a degeneracy free alternative hollywood no absolutely not not a chance hollywood is not the business that people say it is i know it sounds tinfoil hat but eventually it's not going to sound tinfoil hat hollywood's a machine that pushes globalist anti-nation anti-natal anti-family anti-christian anti-white propaganda Hollywood is the future of the commercial zone America. There's no founding stock, no blood nation, no religion. All the old icons are uh, destroyed. There are no borders. All the museums have been either burned down or replaced with the, the modern art. The, you know, the past is, every year is year zero. Um, you guys only know that one book, 1984. Uh, we also know Animal Farm and Fahrenheit 451, Brave New World, and aren't those guidebooks no those are supposed to be warnings where it's all filth crime and degeneracy hollywood and the the weinsteins and the schneiders are the distillation of economic zone america and the is that oh hopefully that's uh hopefully that's uh the running man movie with uh, schwarzenegger i think in the 80s or 90s had what they humorously thought the future shows would be the bread and circuses to distract the cattle debt slaves from the dystopian present uh, idiocracy too and keep in mind people sort of know this about hollywood and yet they still support amazon netflix and disney people are watching the super bowl right now the same people who five years ago said they were done with it because the cattle have short memories 
In a country that has an Epstein Island situation, and yet nobody other than three people, Maxwell, Epstein, and his partner, go to prison, and two out of three of those principals get murdered, and there is no further investigation, that's a country that's just an economic zone run by the ultra-wealthy and powerful. They use Hollywood to distract the cattle debt slaves from the actual source of power, and they use the media to make sure that people are busy fighting among themselves. And Hollywood has the, uh, they have a unions, right? And you would think that they would use their, I almost made the joke about the, the film guild. They would use their power to protect people from the Schneiders and the Weinsteins. But oddly enough, they don't. They, I mean, they use their power to get themselves higher salaries and to do, you know, protest against the artificial intelligence who are writing the, these shows, which, you know, the future Hollywood's probably going uh, to be, the, if there's a future where you can make AI indistinguishable, then that that's just going to be the future. But um, oddly enough, they didn't they didn't use their guild to protect um, people from abuse. They just used it to, to make sure that they were getting paid. Weird. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. The There's an uncensored version of this on Subscribestar and Behind the Odyssey uh, paywall. Because it's uh, really kind of tough to talk about these uh, this uh, situation, uh, you know, and make it acceptable for, for YouTube. And credit to the filmmakers for, for touching on this subject. And I'm thinking this, ah, it's weird that Hollywood doesn't make more... Oh, yeah, wait. You're, you, weird that Hollywood doesn't make more, what, shows about ho Hollywood's evil degeneracy? Yeah, who's going to what? Who's gonna finance it? What networks are going to distribute it? Are you saying Hollywood is just like pure evil? Yes. What was it? Time Bandits? Yes, this is pure concentrated evil. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next episode.